Hey everyone, I'm Alfred, and welcome back to uh, what is going to be the last episode of the Mata Nui Online game. I remember uh, when I beat this game. Okay, this is this is gonna be this is gonna be adding myself a little bit. But when I beat this game uh, the last time, uh, I cried because, like, I mean, I was a kid, but I was like, I didn't want it to be over, and I was like, my dad actually caught me crying. And I was like, I didn't want it to be over. And he was like, it has to be over because otherwise it didn't mean anything. And uh, I think about that constantly because like he was kind of talking about the winter break I was on because, you know, I was still in school at the time. Um, but like he, he talks about like how if I was on winter break all the time, I wouldn't appreciate it. And like now that I have a, uh, a lot of free time, I definitely find myself appreciating free time less. And like, I, at, at first I thought he was just being an old, like an old fart. And I, you know, was like, whatever, old man, you don't, you don't know what you're talking about. Well, like, maybe, maybe it's not even an everyone thing. Maybe it's just me because I'm pretty sure I, uh, I have like, uh, ADD or something like that. I haven't been able to get tested because COVID and... Uh, anxiety, which I have been diagnosed with. I'm not self-diagnosing everything in my mind. Um, but maybe it's just because of, uh, like, that. But I, I find myself, like, sometimes just wasting my free time because I have more of it. Uh, anyway, I got distracted. Don't mind me. It's you. Another adventure? Will you join up? Yes, I will join you. It's time, guys. Right, let's take the long way out. We've got our team of seven. Initially, I always thought it was weird that uh, there was seven guys for the six elements, and there were just two um, fire toe. But Takua wasn't supposed to have an element originally, because he's supposed to be someone that you can project on. And it's like, well, this is—he's—he's he's a gamma torn, and they're all girls, and the boys playing this will be confused. Well, you know, he's a blank slate that you can project yourself on, and. He kind of already is to begin with, but. Of course, people who know, who are in the know would understand why it makes sense that Takua would end up being a blank slate to begin with, but I digress. Those are kind of spoilers. Oh yeah, it's time. Let's see what you're up to. Same old same, huh? <laughs> Say out of the sun. You got it, my man. Kakoro. I don't know what the name of this, like, instrument and drum is. I want to say sitar, maybe? Or what's the, what's the instrument that Zeria invented and plays? Or I think he modified it. All right. Now, where are we going? All right, yeah, I think we're just going to the waterfall. So initially, I, I did a little griping about... Um, can I... I'm feeling kind of stuck here. Maybe I should go to the Takoro Beach. Um, I did some griping about how I had to do a, a huge uh, convoy across every every uh, Koro, and then once I dropped off something to every Taraga, I had to go pick up every tar uh, every Matoran. And like, yes, it does kind of feel like padding, but honestly, I don't really have that much of a problem with it. Um, not only is this game free, but it's also very simple, and like, it is for children. This is, let's be, you know, blinkeringly honest here. It is supposed to be for, for kids, you know? Man, still nothing, huh? I wonder if this changes. Because that'd be a really cool detail. Why don't we head on up here, guys? Oh, as it happens, these things down here are actually numbers. However, I don't have the, uh, the the page ready anymore. So what was it doing? 
I guess it would be this thing, right? That they're like combining. Got Taida. If you prefer Japanese. Alright, let's boat on over. A lot of boats in this harbor today. I've now come to Gakoro twice by boat. I thought those little boats looked so neat. Okay, how am I getting up here? Oh, here we go. Or not. Oh, also, I just noticed the little, the little stick thing that they put up. Okay, that leads me into Gakoro. Where am I going? Okay, this is a this is a trick that I know from my old flash days. But you would hit tab and figure out where you could click. I uh, I ran back here. Hello, Gun Adventure. I see you found Maku willing to join your party. I would have been surprised if she didn't. She's been more adventurous than the others who dwell here. You can see my coats on the door, pardon me. Wadi Kininui Binds lies behind the waterfall near our village. It's likely she can find a boat to get through the falls. Uh, take care, there are Rahi gathering in the water. They can attack at any moment. Interest. So do I have to use her like an inventory item? Because that might be kind of funny. I might get some amusemante out of that. Used to go boating here. It's weather the storms. Yeah! I didn't even Google that. Cool. These are the Naho Falls, I believe. Ah, oh, yeah! The squad! Whoa. This is like surprisingly eerie. Let me see about this. The bridge that stood here is gone. Not even I can craft a new one. Like, ah. When ground path fails, high lifting jungle aids us. Many stout vines and plants I can use here. Wait here. New bridge is expansion for cliffbound company. Oh, this is cool. Everyone's got to use their special talent. That's so good. I always really respected how, um, like, in Bionicle, people just look like that, you know? Like, no, nobody messes with other Bionicle characters about... So it's too heavy to lift, and if we, if over rock we climb, they fall, they might, and hurt us. You can ask for Hafu and uh, Taipu, I believe. Digging home is what Onu Koruans do best. I'll clear a rote. But in the caves of my home, a, po a pomatorn stonemason is often at hand to cut and clear. My stonecraft is great indeed. I can cut through these stones. I need great skill at digging, as Taipu possesses. Yeah! I also always really like the little that they always make whenever they're, they're moving. Yeah. There's a stock boom noise. I think that's even the doom boom. Tag team. Heck yeah. Another Hafu original. Yeah. But yeah, I don't have very much that I would change about Bionicle. I do really like how, like, the Lake o the, the, the Lamatoran just like living in, in weird, semi-dangerous environments. Uh, the Onomatoran like living in the darkness, and people respect that, you know? Games are ancient. Maybe Kopi can wield some ice lore? If I had to change one thing about Bionicle, I would, first and foremost, maybe not, like, stick him to a gender binary so close. Um, or at the very least, have a, a, a more free, like... 
<laughs> uh, more free gender expression. And they actually worked on that later, where um, it's only the Matoran that are so, like, gender restrictive, where, like, every water Matoran is female. Every fire Matoran is male. Um, and I would like I would like to see that freer. And they started doing stuff like that with Iagori. But, you know, those are later characters that show up later. Yeah, it's all the... It's the guys! It's the team! This is where we begin our final task. If any of you question our choice or doubt our chances... If... Doubt our chances... If work together, speak now. I've doubted you in the past, Tahu, but no more. I think I speak for all of us when I say our only hope is to work together. So I cast my sword with yours, if you'll have it. I'll have it gladly, Kopaka. You're all innocent. It's decided to get that the Makuta cannot resist us. Wait, Tahu, have you given no thought to our return? The Rai attacked the temple while we are below. How can we escape? I do not know the answer to that question, Liwa. So grim is this task, I have not thought much to consider, thought it much use to consider anything beyond our meeting with, presumably, the Makuta. There's an intruder among us. What is this? Stay your clothes, Anua. It's the Kronalker and his company that we know about. Like, we founded them 30 minutes ago. <laughs> Little one, you are brave indeed to have come all this way. Oh, they're talking to me, guys. I'm the Chronicler. I see you've gathered help from all the villages around. Tahu, it is as I hoped. These Matoran can guard the Kini Nui while we descend and see that no Rahi attacks us from behind. The Rahi here fearsome. May their hearts prove greater than their size would suggest. Truth, it is said that great power can be found in small packages. That aid can come from places least expected. Besides, we have few options. So be it. Chronicler, it is your doom to remain here and guard the Kini Nui at all costs. I love that. It's like, you're being sentenced to be cool. Like, ooh, I like that. This deed will be remembered as long as any remain to sing of it. Friends, we have much to do and little time. Let's go. Before we go, Chronicler, know that there is a bond between us. Your struggles and those of your friends will be much to bear. I shall be with you in heart. Yeah, this is a thing that doesn't get talked about a lot, but Takua and uh, Gali literally have a psychic link, and I don't actually know why. Look for me in your dreams. I'll come to you then and speak of you speak to you of the things we see on the ground. Remember them. Goodbye, and do not let the temple fall. Yes, ma'am. I was like golly. Look, I'll be honest, I don't even know what that thing is. Uh, like Lamatoran, we have ice for the fiery Kofu Jaga. We easily crack the hard Nui Jaga and sand Tarakava, beasts of stone. All Jagas feared. Uh, stay here. It's like this. Here come the Rahi. Uh, Nui Rama. Oh, God. Yeah, the tag teams. This is interesting. So those little arms, uh, you can see that they have these weird little three-fingered hands, these little claws. And, uh... The plastic that their arms were made of, specifically just their arms, were a little rubbery. Uh, and you could pull them back and then let them go, and it would actually throw the discs. Like it would fling them. Oh yeah. I remember, it is here that we join. Spirit of Valor, hear me. I am Akamai. Spirit of Wisdom, hear me. I am Wairua. Man, is that me? Got a little feminine in me. Maybe I'm the spirit of wisdom, but I do I do think Akamai has a cooler design. So, Irua, you are joined. 
Let's now go a pa choose a path and go to the darkness to face destiny. This is a thing that, by the way, is is weird. But normally, when people merge, their personalities are a combination of everyone involved in it. But here, it's like they talk to uh, the spirits of wisdom and valor as though they are like separate from them, and almost have them like possess their body. You know. Be good or ill. Away lies not together, Akamai. We must face whatever evils are before us alone. Also, um... You still have the golden Tahu mask, the golden how, on uh, Akamai. And you could get that because there were these little booster sets that you would buy. I never had them, but there were these booster sets that you would buy that would have more masks. Because, like, obviously, every Toa needs masks. And they only come with their default ones, so... Liwa always comes with levitation, and Pohatu always comes with uh, speed. You know, Kakama and Miru. Um, but there were these little boxes that you could buy, and they would have green masks, or they would have brown masks, and you could get a brown Miru or a green Kakama, or any combination therein. Um, and it was really helpful for making your OCs, which is why I always wanted them. Uh, because, like, you know, that's just more masks. Because, like, Yes, obviously the Miru is a generic mask that, you know, anyone could wear, but the Miru is essentially Liwa's face, and the green Miru in particular, just to everyone, it's Liwa's face. And so, like, having somebody's mask be the same as another canon character is kind of weird. I choose this road. You take the other. With luck, we'll come together again at the gates of Mangaya. Uh, anyway, randomly in those, there would be golden masks. Um, they were, like, more rare and cool. Uh, they fight water, Rahi. Stone fights air, Rahi. Water fights fire. Ice cracks stone. Air defeats earth. Wow. I don't even know what to say. It's not quite an RPG, you know? Anyway, yeah, they, they needlessly made Wairua even harder to build canonically. Because you had to have a silver mask to make him canon instead of the green mirror that he's shown within the instruction that I showed. Oh man, this is a lot of them. I might start skipping through this battle just because there's so many. Are only Nui Jagger gonna show up as well? Wow, that was a big damage. Right, I'm gonna pause this. All right, they hit Kapura and he fell over and he lost his mask. I don't remember if that actually like takes him out of the fight for good, but I'm I'm thinking we're probably gonna have to deal with like rule of three here. Anyway, so these uh, hands that could hold discs were actually uh, holdovers from the slicers that I mentioned back in the very first episode. Um, slicers have very similar hand designs that let them hold discs. Uh, and then they rocked with these discs for... They brought them back again in 2004. Like, they were already on the slicers, and then they were already on the, uh, on the initial Matoran. And then the rebuilt-style Matoran, uh, from 2003 cannot hold these discs the same. Um, and then they, they were given an additional, even newer design with a little launcher in 2004 and you could have those and then those disc launchers could fit the item from 2005 but it wasn't really the same uh, because those had like a spin thing it's like a little spin function so if Matoran spends like more than an hour without a mask uh, they'll go unconscious they'll just go into a little coma start getting drain of energy that sort of thing 
Uh, but you can fix it by just putting the mask back on. I remember I used to just watch these these cutscenes over and over on YouTube. Because this was back in like very, very early YouTube. And so like... There, there isn't a super huge amount of Bionicle fan content. And I remember somebody had just like dumped the... Uh, Am I just waiting here? Alright, as expected, yeah. So, everyone has a little bit uh, more health, but... Yeah, instead of just fighting a whole bunch of Nui Jaga, we got uh, new big threats. Boy, I wish I had more than six guys. I know that he talked about, like, everyone has their own little thing, but, like, I really just want to... Oh, uh-oh. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. I really just want to focus fire and, and take one down and then go to the next one. Especially because some of them will die. Uh, like, will not die. They'll, they'll just lose their mask and go unconscious before I have a chance to, like, use their special ability. Yeah, there's not a whole bunch of stats here. A Bionicle RPG would have been really cool. Um, sadly, it never came to be. I'm talking about how these guys have almost the same color scheme and mask design. Like, I know that they're supposed to be... Oh, man, I'm really low on health. Oh, man, I hope I don't die. I know that they're supposed to be, like, an Onumatorn and a Pomatorn, but, like, they look so similar, dude. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, uh, I don't want a game over. I don't know what'll happen. Who will you choose? Of all of your choices of Tohunga. We've fallen back, but not lost yet. It's safe if we stay behind between it and the Rahi. Nu says I'm the strongest in all Ornokoru. The Rahi would stand still. When I am, I hit my mark, and my strength is to be reckoned with. We train in acrobatics. I'm quick enough to send uh, against the fastest Rahi. In battle, it is skill I rely on rather than strength. We and Kokoro are balanced with strength and agility. I don't understand. Yeah, I don't understand. I, I understand that all of them are supposed to. Oh, man, this is bad, huh? All of them are probably supposed to have, like, their own things, but, like, this battle doesn't really require. Uh, tact, you know? So, uh, it's going poorly. That's good. I don't know if they'll be able to, like, tank it out. I hope they can. But somehow I doubt... Ah, oh, maybe. Yeah. Ah, oh, eight damage. That's painful, dude. Ah, oh, dude. You can't do this to me. Okay, that one's better. Stop them here. It is here the toll will return to, though it may be days. We must not fall back from here, whatever the cost. In battle, I am quick and can quick dodge Rahi. High jump and low duck I do too. Strike lightly, but often. Slow I am and quick. Engaged, it is hard to avoid the blows of Rahi or strike the mask of the quick one, but I travel instantly. Long time ago, many rocks fell on my head. That didn't hurt much. Neither do these, Rahi. Like the great statue of Pokoro, I stand. They pushed it back, but we must try again. Oh, man, guys. I'm in a... Am I in a losing battle here? Alright. It's still going poorly. We took out one, but we lost two. And, like, technically that means that we could do it again. But somehow I doubt it. 
this, I don't know how you're supposed to beat this. This is one of those things where, like, as a kid, I was like, I don't know how I beat this as a kid, you know? Like, uh... I don't know, I'm just trying to think of it. Like, um, Donkey Kong Country? I know so many adults who are like, Oh, man, Donkey Kong Country, I love that as a kid. And it, like, whoops their little butt when they're, when they're an adult. And, like, they cannot beat Donkey Kong Country. Oh, no. They force us back. Only Hardy Tohonga can over overcome the wind and ice of Kokoro. So I find me tough to overcome. I can go far without tiring if it's your will. I are strong. Hard luck I have. Let's quick dive stage me. Maybe days before the Toho return, but we must try to get back to the temple. Force us back. If we don't retake Kininui, I can't be any more help. Oh, hey, we're at full health. Uh, but also we're fighting... Uh, uh, yeah. Well, they're on little animations, which is cool. It just means that they didn't just slap a mask and a new color scheme on every every little uh, Matoran. The fact that Kapura is using his ability to, like... like the way he talks about it makes it sound like he's teleporting. But the fact that he uses that to, like, essentially teleport is kind of cool. Yeah, I don't know if they ever made a Bionicle, like, uh, RPG, like a JRPG, which would have been really smart, I think. See, I don't, I don't know how her health refilled, but I'm glad it did. I don't know how you're supposed to beat those other ones. I assume you only get a new thing every time you, like, win. But I want to do this without losing as much health, health as possible. Come on, hit him. This episode's going long, but I already promised it would be the last one. All right. New flashback. Oh, that looks so cool. Yeah, the Monas are, like, freakishly strong. Stop them here. Uh, we've seen this one. Yeah, we've seen all these, I think. What if I just played the flute and I was like, well, uh, sorry guys, but, uh, I gotta go. And then I just left. Alright. I'm gonna focus on Littley here. Dang, who do they say? Wow, that's some big damage. Oh, I totally don't remember who beats what. Now I'm just having them just, like, throw their weight around. I think air and ice? I'm gonna have you two focus on him. I think, I want to say stone is helpful. Wow, that's a lot of damage. But yeah, as I say, a Bionicle RPG would be neat. I haven't had Kapura do anything in a little bit. Oh, he just took that hit, that was rad. Okay, cool. Now everyone focus up and hit him. This is intense, dude. There are a few D&D uh, &D RPGs. I mean, I say D&D &D like it's not an RPG, but there are a few video games based off of the tabletop game Dungeons & Dragons, wherein uh, you design every member of the party, and like those are a little much for me, I think, but it would be interesting if like you had to consider who was in your party, like where you went first. Like I went here first, so I got a bunch of Komatorin in the party. So I got to watch out for any like ice elemental stuff because they can handle it. Oh, jeez. It's okay, whatever your name is. It's horrible. Yeah, there must be hundreds of Rahi out there. We're doomed. Doomed! I will stand with you, Chronicler, no matter what. Ah. I'll never see Sing Song Lake Horror again. Oh, whoa. Dude, these guys are ride or die. That's cool. I can respect that. Here they come. Look to the sky. <gasps> Yeah! It's Kagu! I remember... Oh, man. I can't believe I forgot about this. I marked out so hard, because, like... I 
had Kongu. Kongu is my favorite. Oh, I marked it so hard as a kid. On the Usuri. And the, and the Takoro Guard. Man, Red Kakama looks so good. Red Mask of Speed. Man, you can't fight in the shade from that. Just had to stare at the picture of my brother to stop myself from swearing for emphasis there. <laughs> for those of you who, who do, like, swear a lot just, like, casually, like, think about it, because, like, sometimes yeah, it might not be what you like. It ends here for these monsters as well. Sorry. These strange towers, maybe. Oh, are those the radio, like, remote control towers? Because they were remote control things? We have survived. For now, we were lucky. Wisdom only... Wisdom provides only when valor is in its service. Imagine if there was, like, a Bionicle Darkest Dungeon. Oh, yeah. I feel strange. It was like being torn apart. What has happened? Spirit of Makuta is the spirit of destruction. This is his inner realm. The Toa Kaita cannot exist here. The Manas nearly destroyed the Toa Kaita. And Makuta is ten times greater than they. What hope do we have? Oh, the to he should have had emphasis on Toa Kaita. Sorry. I didn't say that good enough. Toa Kaita merely gave physical form to the force of our unity. Alright, sorry. I took a little break. Um, as it happens, the sun has come up. And my wife went to work. But that's okay. We've both been sleeping uh, weirdly and kind of badly. Anyway, as she said, the Toa Kaita is a physical form of their unity. We still possess it in our hearts. But Toa Kaita's wisdom and valor were unmatched. It was their thing. Where wisdom and valor fail, all that remains is faith. And it can overcome all. Gali's right. We must go on. Faith in the great spirit Mata Nui? He does chronicler. We step now through the gates of doom. <laughs> Mick Gordon comes in. Our link is broken. If you wish to fulfill your destiny, record the last moments of this time. You must find us. Find us! Chronicler, wake up. Please wake up. He disappear and Mato confused. Thought Rahi fall back here to destroy Kitty Nuni. So fast fly we come to aid. I'm high fly Vinesman and Deepwood Wayfinder. You survived. Kaba will be hardened by this. I notice that we have two Liamatorn, one Gamatorn, two Tamatorn, and one Pomatorrit. Kitty Nui is safe now, though I think the day's trials are far from over. Tower still on the ground. What is this for? Ah, uh, here's the rest. Something strange happened in Onukoro. Onua says you should come there and quickly, but not on foot. Take Puku. She followed us all the way here. I think she's been looking for you. Uh, yes, I will. This is the start of Puku, and, um... Oh, that's so cool. You see the little eyes there indicating that this is probably supposed to be Takua, but... So yeah, Onepu and Jaller and, and um, Kongu's appearance there indicates that they should be, like, main character dudes, and we're all side characters. But it's just kind of weird that, like, Onepu falls into not really being that important. Though, again, it's a problem with Bionicle where, like, every team is six Toa. There are some teams with less and some with more. But almost every team is six Toa, and it's just kind of hard to make a team of six people all be important. And usually you get one falling to the wayside. Um... In the first year, I think it's probably Onua, Tahu, or Gali. Um, and then definitely, like, of this, of the of the six Taraga, Wenua has the least going on. He's just very short. Um, I won't get into it. 
Say golly has called on you. It's been a disturbance in the great mine. The gold mask you discovered has disappeared and a passage has opened. Marcus is too afraid to go near it. We believe it's another entrance to Makuta's lair. Your destiny to find the Toa Chronicler, no matter the outcome. I bet the courage to face it. Goodbye. No punctuation, goodbye. There was a thing that I used to be able to do. I don't remember how to do it, but... Uh, you could just go into, like... I forget what you could go into, but you can just go into one of the files. Um, and just type in whatever you wanted them to say. And then when you clicked on a guy, it would say whatever you typed. Because, uh, this game is coded relatively simply. Um... And you can just code it to say whatever. That's so cool. That's... Wow. There we go. You can see me. So yeah, Takua's got a blue mask, which is very unusual for a... Uh, it is oppressive down here. Blue mask is unusual for a Tomatoran. That's part of... Um, that's partially intentional because he's a uh, kind of. Oh, wait, can I? No. It's intentional because he's kind of like meant to be like no one thing, you know. All right. I don't exactly know where I'm supposed to be go. Oh, here we go. Just have to click up. Busted Manas. See, so yeah, it says, I think the name is Manas ending in S. Oh, man. See, so yeah, that's Makuta. That was always such a cool thing to me. Makuta, we have come. And then this is also Makuta. What? I've been waiting for you. But you, you are... Is that an organ? I am that which you've sworn to protect. Tahu, it's a trick. We must destroy him. Destroy me? You cannot destroy me. No more than you can destroy the sea or the wind or the void. You are like the sea. The sea bears life. The sea bore us. I bore you, for I am nothing. And out of nothing you came. And it is into nothing that you will go. I stand with Matanui side by side. I am his brother. This has always been a very interesting thing. I know that it's not unique, but it's always been very interesting to me. Makuta claims to love Mata Nui more than the heroes do. The people of the world are builders, but look into their hearts. You'll find that they have the power to destroy. I'm that power. I am destruction. And I will destroy you. But you're, you're a Matoran. Expected something else? Something like this? so cool. Oh, yeah. See, so, yeah, Makuta's always had uh, quite a lot of forms. I'm going to turn this off so you can see the rest of it. The chanting, though. I only hope is to work together. Yeah, Makuta's always had a lot of forms. Um, the Swirling Void and the, like, Corrupted Matorn are his first few. When most people see him, they think of the 2003 form, which is the first time he had, like, a real set. It's so difficult to show Earth and Stone. You cannot destroy me, for I'm nothing. It's always so difficult to show Earth and Stone. But yeah, Makuta wears a mask called the Mask of Shadows. Which is, I guess, just to, like, double down on the fact that he's, like, shadows. What happened to the Chronicler? She looks into the camera, because it's me. Hey, it's that symbol that we saw. And while the first year of Bionicle was about Rahi um, and Makuta corrupting things, year two, 2002, was about these things. 
which are called Borok. Yeah, now that I'm, like, rereading Bionicle, I was always, like, kind of blown away about how, like, so much of it was... Is it that chisel time? Lightstone, sigil, summons. It is time for the chisel. Yeah. It's that thing. The thing that we saw. And we're back where we started. You've surprised us again, Chronicler. We feared your courage led you to a final adventure. But it seems you have many more in the future. You seem afraid. I know what you saw in the cave. Our prophecy said Bakuda's defeat would end our troubles. The prophecies have changed. Something yet darker looms ahead of us. See, so yeah, Makuda being a sore loser awakens the Bulrock when he's defeated. Also, normally when six Toa team up and use their energies on something together, they create something called a Toa Seal. Just any six different Toa. Uh, six different elements, I should say. You can't have two Toa of air in there or whatever. Um... And it's later how they end up defeating the Borok, spoilers, and it's been used at other times, but for some reason it doesn't seal away Makuta, even though a Toa seal has apparently worked on him in the past. But for now, Pert, put these thoughts from your mind. There are many reasons for the people of Madinui to rejoice. We first met, and you found my mask and my fire staff, and fulfilled quests for all the Turaga. You were thought to be an outcast. No Tohunga travels from village to village having adventures. People of Takora did not trust you and feared your adventurous ways. They were certain it would bring ill luck. But you've all proven us wrong, Takua. You stand among the Toa like Matanui's greatest heroes. Come, let us leave this windy beach. Turn to the light and heat of Takoro. Many friends await you there. Yeah, fireworks. It's like the Death Star. What is that? Is that the how? The end. And then you get jump scared by a bow rock. Yeah, we did it. We beat it, guys. Ah. Oh. It's not perfect. Not by any means. Um, my door's open, pardon that. There we go, a little less distracting. But in a lot of cases, this was one of the only ways that you would see the story because uh, so much got cut from the first year. Part of it is the lawsuit, and part of that lawsuit was their own fault anyway. Um, but like... I don't, like, this was so interesting because, like, I mentioned it earlier, but the idea that, um, like, the island was so diverse and lush and had so many different people on it meant that, like, yes, you can have a story just about Jaller and the guard, or you can have a story just about Onepu and the Usuri, or you can have a story just about Huki and, and doing Koli, or just about uh, some rando named Takua running around doing stuff on the island as, as people as people watch and wait for him, you know? And, like, that's so... That's interesting, you know? That's cool. Um, and, you know, I talked about this a little as well earlier, but, like, so... I feel like so much of Bionicle, maybe just because it's a Lego property, but maybe more than that, so much of Bionicle was like ready for you to make your own OCs and to make your own stories. Like they absolutely gave you so much of a chance to like make a, uh... sorry, I'm just setting that down to make your own little Matoran and make your own Toa and, and have them go on stories. And like the fact that there are multiple Toa mean that maybe it's not crazy for you to have a Toa in the modern rebooted Bionicle 
there are only six Toa, one of each element. And yes, there is a Bionicle reboot. It's okay. It, it only lasted for two years, so it doesn't have as much time to develop a cool story. But it also never had as much story planned, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, like, I talked about what I would fix in Bionicle, and honestly, that's kind of it. Um, the first couple of stories are extremely simplistic. Uh, but after the third movie came out, they really started to shape up because like the first three books. Okay. So like with the, with the first couple of Bionicle books, like they have to, they have to kind of get in as much story as they can and then stop before the game was supposed to come out. And again, the same thing with, um, when the first movie actually came out, they only had like they they only had that movie and that was the only thing in the movie and like the comic showed a different side of the story but they still could couldn't show what was in the movie and the characters in the comics all appeared in the movie anyway um and with uh with the second movie which was a prequel but don't worry about that they had three books before it and then they had to and like those three books caught you up on on where the story was And then with the fourth book, which is a novelization, they had to skip back and then blow through so much more story. Um, And then because the climax of that arc happens in that movie, it happens in that book. But then there's five books in between there and the next one. And it just like it just goes. And then there's like in in the in the books and I think book eight. There's a whole thing where like. They they spend a lot of time gathering allies in this broken broken city, and they're gathering allies and making friends and forging alliances. And some of them some of the alliances are unstable. You know, can we trust them? Can we not? I don't know. Uh, and partially because of merchandising stuff, they had gone out of their way to build a fortress. They built this thing called the Tower of Toa in story. Uh, and it was a real set that you could buy. It was like a playset made of like regular Legos with some hybrid Bionicle parts. Um, and then after that, the story skips back to the start because the movie has to skip back to the start. And, you know, it's it's a whole problem with how they cannot tell stories that are going to be in the movie. And if they do, they have to retell it in the movie, which means that in novelization, you know, you get a pared down worse version of it. And then you get a pared down worse version of the rest of the story that happens in the same movie. And like the whole first couple of years are like that. Um, but after that, which is book nine of legends, I want to say, uh, it takes a decided swing up in quality. And the books about Inaika, Mari, Fantoka, Mistaka are all really, really solid. And then unfortunately the soft reboot happens. Um, and it's about the Glatorian and then there was 2010 and Bionicle ended. And like, Bionicle had so much potential, but I feel like it was really limited by uh, some of its mediums. Like, it had good comics, but the comics weren't real comic books. They were little inserts that got stuck inside of Lego magazine. And as a result, they were a lot smaller than a normal comic book, even at the time, would be. Like, if you just bought a comic book at that time, it would be bigger and have more story. And like, I read the I, I recently just read all of those comics, um, and like they're minuscule. I, I went through all of the comics in like a few days and I was doing other stuff. But yeah, um this, however, like besides a few problems with with uh like progression and just where am I going, what am I doing? Because it's an adventure game and those are, you know, it's an adventure game. What can I say? Uh and then there's a few other things with like um you know, just backtracking and going to old areas again. But it's a video game. Who cares? Everyone's got to do that at some point. Um, but yeah, this was excellent. Like, it was. It, it is so cool that, like, theoretically that you could read the comics and then also read the books. And in each one, you would get a completely different story, you know? And in this game, there would be a different story as well. And, like, that would be... that That's cool that this world is so lush and, and explorable and there's so much stuff going on in it and so many people and so much interesting things that, you know, you could have 
a story just about some schlub villager rising up and teaming up with his friends and leading a party of villagers to like take stuff back. And then meanwhile, the Toa, like the real super big cool heroes are, you know, still trying to run around and do stuff. And like, they're a lot more efficient at it, but like, um, Takua's story makes sense for, you know, an adventure game where you mostly indirectly influence the plot or solve puzzles to do things or have somebody else's influence. And like playing as the Toa makes sense as an action game, which is what they ended up doing. But I digress. Um, I would be happy if there were, if there was more Bionicle, obviously. Uh, but like, there is a lot of it. There are about 20 books. I want to say, Um, yeah, I think there's like 20 books. Uh, they're all pretty solid books as they go. Like the, the first, uh, 10 ish are pretty childish. Um, but a lot of them have their moments. Um, especially the arc after the Toa Nuva has a lot of, of those like good solid moments. And then as soon as uh, we get post um, time trap, because time trap is fantastic. Like time trap is a, is a, a good enough book that like, I would say that regular people could read it. The problem is, is that you also need to be aware of Bionicle lore to read time trap because it's, you know, after five years of story, it was the last book to come out in 2005. So like, there's a lot of stuff in time trap that you need to know. And like, it's hard to just start there. But like time trap is cool and fun and solid and it works and it's good. Um, and then every book after that is just bam, bam, bam. They're all really good. Um, and in addition to the books, there's also the comics and as well as short stories and, and podcasts. Um, and there's also a couple flash games. Uh, I will look into the flash games myself, but not now later, obviously this uh, episode has already gone on long enough to be three episodes. Um, I will turn it into I will keep it as one episode just because it's the, it's the finale and it's fun. I like having final being this long and you're like, wow, that's going to be so cool. Um, but yeah, um, it's for me personally, Bionicle was always a really cool place for me to just hang out like in this cool constructed universe. And like I talked about it early on, like it's so alien and yet everyone, every character still felt so human and so real and alive that like, you could not like them, you know? Like, there are cool, interesting characters despite the disparity between us. And, like, there was a lot of difference and disparity between the characters themselves. And, like, they still worked past that. And that was cool. Um, but, yeah. One thing about Bionicle that was always, like... I don't know. How do I put this? One thing for me is that I didn't have any friends that were into Bionicle. So, like, I could talk to friends about Star Wars because my friends like Star Wars, you know? And, like, as a kid, I like Star Wars a lot. Um, I hate Star Wars now. Uh, <laughs> here's the thing, right? I hate Star Wars, but I love The Mandalorian. I love KOTOR. I love Revenge of the Sith. I love The Clone Wars. But I say I hate Star Wars because that gets across my point quicker. There's good in Star Wars. There's good stories in it, but I say I hate it. Part of that's just because I'm a hipster, if you couldn't tell. Um, I'm weird. That's why I wear this hat. I'm weird. Anyway. Um, or like, you know, there were friends that talked about that I talked about Generator Rex with. Uh, or like regular non-Bionicle Legos. But like, I didn't talk to my friends about Bionicle. Um, I was I was never really sure why. But yeah, I just I never had friends that were into Bionicle. I never talked to people about Bionicle. Um Yeah, like I never talked to people about Bionicle like at all. And if if I did, it was like a short conversation and the most that I've ever talked to another person about Bionicle has been in the last year when I was explaining the whole thing to my wife and that all happened this year, uh, 10 years after cancellation. 
Um, and like, I'm looking at all the things that Bionicle fans are doing and like forums, like forums have always been a really good way for me to talk about Bionicle at all because I don't need to know the person. I don't need to look at their face. I don't need to admit that I'm into Bionicle. And like, now I don't care, but forums have always been good. And like going on like the Reddit for Bionicles and looking at the models that people are making and the stuff that people are doing with um, 3D modeling is like, that's cool. And like, I still don't know if I want to get in and like put myself out there. It's so weird. And like, this has been one of the first big ones. And this is actually not even my first attempt at making a Bionicle show. Um, sorry that all these thoughts and emotions and, and words are coming out of the end. If you're still watching, you obviously don't care or in fact, do care that I'm saying them and want to hear them. But this is my second attempt at making a show or series about Bionicle. Um, I went with a normal Let's Play this time instead of a podcast. Uh, and like a couple of days ago, I just heard a podcast where people were talking about Bionicle for like the first time ever. Like I, I just heard, like, I've never heard a podcast do that and it was alien to me. Like the idea that you would have friends and you would just all sit together and talk about Bionicle is nuts. Um... Yeah, I would occasionally talk to them about talk to the my friend Robert about it, but we didn't talk that much about it. And at one point, I think we watched Binacle Two together. Um, and I could probably find a lot of of joy, like just really digging deep with him about it. But like as it stands, like it is kind of new to me to be open about being a fan of Bionicle, and that's I don't know. Maybe that's cowardly of me, you know? As a kid, obviously, you know, you sometimes stifle yourself because you're a kid, you don't know better. You don't know that you should just, like, be proud of who you are no matter what. But, like, I don't know. It's a new dawn. It's a new year, in fact. It's 2022. Um, not for me yet. Uh, when I recorded this, it was uh, still 2021, and, in fact, still is. It's uh, uh, Christmas. But yeah, um, I feel like I got a lot of good feelings out, a lot of good talk. I have a lot to say about Bionicle, and uh, the reason it's coming out now is because there's not a lot of room to talk in the LP itself, which is why I do a lot of these, because either I'm focusing or I'm reading. Um, the other Bionicle games are more straight-up action affairs. Uh, there are two console games that are also available on PC. I actually have them on PC, and I have one of them on uh, PS2 as well. Uh, I will let's play those, I promise. Um, and I'll see if I can emulate the Game Boy ones. Uh, but yeah, until then, um, this is uh, this is this is my first little light that I'm flinging into the darkness, the big void of of Bionicle, and like, it's uh, it's important to me. It's weird to do this. It feels unique. It's different, but it's uh, it's it's cool. It's fun. I'm happy. I'm happy to do this. Uh, I hope everyone enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, I'm currently doing a playthrough of Salt and Sanctuary. I'm doing a playthrough of Dead Space Two, uh, Dead Space One with my wife. Dramatically different fare from Bionicle, I know. Uh, I might play the original Dune because there's a new one coming out. Uh, and then I should be playing Fallout as well. Um... But yeah, if you want to see more Bionicle, just let me know and maybe I can be convinced to slip something up in the schedule and uh, play another Bionicle game sooner. But yeah, until then, I'll see you guys later. I've been Alfred, and that is not my full name. Uh, I'm affectionately known as Alfred Connor to my family, but that's short for Alfredric Conchobar. Uh, and that's not even all my names, but I've been Alfred, that's short for Alfredric. Uh, and I've had a great day, and I hope you do too. I'll see you guys later, so uh, bye.